is our first uh, National Adoption Day since we've become district court judges. And my staff uh, was actually a little confused as to the, the purpose of this day. And so we were just talking about that this morning. And I reiterated to them that really the whole purpose uh, behind this initially was to create uh, forever connections for children. Um, this started <clears throat> because of, of children um, in, in foster care, <clears throat> their parental rights would be terminated and then they would just be languishing uh, without families. And it, there's studies to show that children um, that don't have those connections end up in the criminal justice system and in the child welfare system with their own children. And so by creating these forever connections, uh, we were positively changing you know, the course of their lives. And so it's really special um, that we get to participate in that. Because like I told the families today, in our jobs, we don't we don't always get to see joyful things, uh, and this is this is definitely one of them. Absolutely, you know, uh, we we oftentimes take part in in what is oftentimes the worst day in people's lives, and uh, this is an opportunity for us to be part of a joyful occasion, and and so it is a really special celebration <clears throat> for those who have expanded their families and brought more joy into their lives, and so we like to be part, a little part of that special celebration and. It's also a unique opportunity to encourage those out in our community who might uh, have that little bit, uh, that little thought in the back of their mind about maybe being a foster parent and thinking about helping those most vulnerable in our community. So if anyone has uh, a thought about maybe doing something like that, reach out to the Division of Child and Family Services. We're always in desperate need of individuals who have a little extra love in their heart that they can show to the most vulnerable in our communities. And so if you've been thinking about that, give, give the Division of Child and Family Services a call.